Joy Blasilda Sinai. I'm Senior Officer at the ASEAN Secretariat. So the ASEAN Secretariat is uh, really a facilitator that supports ASEAN member states in achieving the ASEAN agenda. So in this case, it will be a circular economy. So the ASEAN Secretariat can help establish that ecosystem to promote dialogues and collaborations across sectors across the diverse stakeholders of the circular economy in the region. I think the biggest challenge would be the knowledge gaps. So since circular economy is a new concept, mm -hmm. um, people are still not aware what it is and how to apply it, for example, in businesses. So there is also limited reference points for businesses who would like to adopt circular economy principles. Also, there, there's a limited um, like skilled workforce mm -hmm. who would be able to help these businesses translate circular economy principles into the production processes. Yeah. And the other one is the diversity. Mm -hmm. um, in the region, so there are countries which already are more advanced and the application of circular economy principles while some member states are still are just starting so they have conducted like uh, scoping studies but they need a lot of uh, support to be able to adopt uh, circular economy principles and the other one is the um, the need for institutional mechanisms to coordinate all of these uh, various initiatives on circular economies I think that this uh, stakeholder platform is actually useful in bringing together different stakeholders in the region. So, based on the conversations yesterday during the caravan and the fishbowl, um, we see that different stakeholders have different expectations and also different ideas of what they want to see in the platform. So, just based on that, we can already say that there's there's a need for collaboration among stakeholders. There's also a need to synergize all our efforts so that it is more efficient in how we implement all these circular economy uh, principles and how we develop circular economy policies. In